Hello, everybody. So today I am recreating a tres leches cake. Yay, tres leches. So in English, three milks. La tres leches, leche evaporada, evaporated milk. I know it's backwards because it's on selfie mode. Um, condensed milk, leche condensada. One and a half cups of cow's milk. You can use cow's milk, half and half, or heavy whipping cream. Eh, una, una taza y media de leche de vaca, o pueden usar media y media, o pueden usar creo, eh, leche de batir. Eh, the mold is 10 inches. I use the uh, hard cake, but you a hard mold, but you can use a round or square, whatever you please. El molde es de 10 pulgadas. So, ya yo preparé el cake. I already made the cake, and it was a box cake. I used Betty Crocker. Betty Crocker, super moist, white mix cake. So, este fue el cake de cajita que usé, que es de Betty Crocker, y el cake es blanco. Ya está cocinado, ya está frío. It's already cooked, it's already cooled down. Y ahora voy a hacer la mezcla de las tres leches. I'm going to make the three milks mixture. So, voy a abrir la leche de lata, la, la lata de leche evaporada completa. 12 onzas, 12 ounces evaporated milk. 14 onzas de leche condensada, 14 ounces condensed milk. Una, una taza y media de leche de vaca, one and a half cups of cow's milk. I'm going to put it all in my blender and I'm going to blend them together. Okay, so I have completely opened my cans to make it quicker. Ya abrí todas las latas de leche. La vamos a echar en la batidora. Completicas. And here I have the evaporated milk. So we're going to put them all into the blender. Las tres leches, hence the name, three milks. Because we're using three milks. The Okay, so it completica, completica. Estoy regalando el, la receta de una muchacha que yo veo en Facebook. De un YouTuber. Me estoy re, I'm recreating um, my favorite YouTuber's recipe. I don't like to take credit for other people's, but I'm recreating it. To show you guys how it is and if there are any hardships or not. So uh, it is a little thick, so we're going to with a spoon make sure you get everything. So I have my little cutest spatula. So I'm gonna use that to make sure I get up all in there and take everything out. Okay, mira como quedaba. There was still a lot left. You guys can't see in the video, but there was still a lot of it left in there in the can. So we want to make sure we get all of that out. And we want to make sure we maybe lick the rest. Mm. And then last thing is the cow's milk. And my blender for anybody that's interested is a ninja blender with a smaller um, insert. I don't know. With the smaller thing, I have the big tall one and then the smaller one. So, vamos a poner todas las leches y vamos a mezclarlo. La batidora que tengo es la ninja. Bien buena. So, lo vamos a cerrar, lo vamos a batir. Okay, so the milks are blended. Ya todas las leches están bien mezcladas. Ahora, con un tenedor, with a fork, I'm going to pinch the cake, opening the holes where the milk is going to go into. And the cake is going to absorb, obviously. So, ahora con el tenedor le vamos a hacer unos huequitos al cake. Por todos lados. Para que absorba la leche. Absorba, absorba. Eh, todas las leches. So, you're going to be stabbing your cake. Stab, stab, stab your cake. Oh, I got a, am I getting a call? I'm sorry about that. Stab your cake. Apuñalen el cake. Apuñalen, apuñalen. No hagan el huequito para que toda la leche entre. Si no se va a quedar arriba, y en algún punto tal vez se baje, pero más fácil así. So, like, this is easier for the milk to get absorbed into the cake. And I have left the cake in its mold. And once all the milk is in it, I'm going to refrigerate for at least six hours or overnight. So, dejado el cake en su molde. Claro, lo saqué, le corté el trozo que le, que le quedaba de extra. I took it out and I, I cut down the cake so it could be even. Pero lo voy a dejar en su molde para que cuando le eche la leche, la leche no se salga. Mañana lo voy a virar y lo vamos a decorar. So, yeah. I left it on the mold for it to pour in the milk. So now, little by little, and let me take out the insert. 
Fue del ninja. Y mira qué bueno, porque le puedes quitar lo de adentro. Lo puedes quitar y usar esto como un vaso. And y poquito a poquito, little by little, we are going to um, drop the milk all over the cake. Poquitico a poquito para darle tiempo al cake a que absorba la leche. Little by little, so the cake can absorb all the milk. And you're going to move it around to get it everywhere. Okay. So, vamos a echarle toda la leche. Si sobra algo, yo les enseño que sobra. If I have any milk left over, I'll show you guys. So, usé toda la leche. The whole entire thing of milk, I poured it in the cake. Entonces esto cuando se deje enfriar en el refrigerador de 6 horas o toda la noche, el cake se va a chupar toda la leche. When you leave this in the refrigerator for 6 hours to overnight, the cake is going to um, absorb all the milk. But even now, yes, there's a little bit of milk on the sides, pero it absorbed most of it. I didn't think it was going to be able to take it all, but it did. So así como está el cake, ahora yo lo voy a poner en el refrigerador y mañana lo voy a decorar. This is how it looks. You see, guys, it was so much milk. And literally, it absorbed it all. Isn't that cool? So it's going to be a super moist cake decorated with, you'll see. You guys will see. But for now, this is what we have. Oh, let me show you guys. So when you touch it, oh, you see all the milk? And my hands are clean. Look at that. You see how moist? It's going to be wonderful. So until next time, where we do two of two and decorate. All right, hello. So the cake has been in the fridge overnight. Big thing, it has absorbed all the milk. So now today we're gonna be flipping it over. We're gonna be making the, the whipping cream to cover it. So let me show you guys what I have here for this is the second part of the video. I have my KitchenAid mixer. I have my cake in its mold. I have this spatula, which I'm gonna be um, using to put the whipping cream on the cake. I have this plate, which has a little bit of a lip right here so that the milk doesn't spill when I flip it over into it. I have my my turntable cake decorating thingy majiggy. I don't know the name. I have whipped cream, heavy whipping cream that I got at Walmart. And this is obviously not sweetened, so I got some sugar and I got some vanilla. And I have strawberries to decorate the cake. There is a pastry. Um, pastry cream that you can buy that is already sweetened and just you just got to put it in the mixer and that's it So that's what we're gonna be doing right now One thing I forgot to mention this mixer insert that I'm gonna be you um, be using and if you're gonna use this hand one the little Mixing things I had it. I had it in the freezer overnight together with the cake and that's gonna help your whipping cream not melt so put it in your freezer either this one if you have a a stand mixer or if you're going to use a hand mixer the little two inserts that you put in and take out so the first thing I'm going to do is go with a knife around just to make sure that if it's like stuck because of the milk um, it unsticks so that I can flip it over onto the plate and just a little bit to make sure it comes out let me try it Yum. And now we're gonna put the plate over. And I know it fixed because I already tried it the other day. So I'm just gonna put it onto the, ooh, onto the cake. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Oh, I was getting a call. Okay. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm so scared. Okay. Come on, please, come out. Okay, 
Okay, so I have flipped it. A little bit of bad news. Some parts stuck. And because it expanded with the milk, now it barely fits in my plate. But that's gonna have to do, because if I put it anywhere else, it's good, the milk's gonna drip out. Now, you guys remember how much milk I used, all right? This is what it looks like. I flipped it over and nothing, meaning the egg absorbed the entire milk, all right? So now we're gonna put this on the little tray table. Okay, and we are going to mix our heavy whipping cream. And I'm gonna add some sugar to it since I, like I told you guys, it doesn't have any sweetener in it. And then I'll show you guys. Okay, so what I have, it's a heavy whipping cream carton. I got the 16 ounces. And I'm gonna drop it inside completely. Okay. I'm gonna add some sugar to it. So it could be kind of sweet. I mean, the cake is sweet enough, as you guys saw. But we don't want like the whipped cream to be tasteless. So I'm gonna start with two tablespoons. Look how cute. Um, so I'm gonna start with two and I'm gonna try it. And I'm also gonna add one teaspoon if I can find it. So one teaspoon of vanilla. If I can open, maybe not. If I can open the bottle. So I noticed right before I added the vanilla that this one obviously is like the dark vanilla and it was gonna give the whipped cream some color to it. So instead, I'm going to use clear vanilla extract because I want the whipping cream to stay white. Okay. So one teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm gonna give it a whip and try it. As you remember, my, my mixing thing was in the freezer. So now I'm gonna attach it and I'm gonna start whipping this. So I'm gonna start whipping this. And I'm gonna whip this for about four minutes. And then I'll show you guys. Okay, so I have tried the whipping cream. I'm gonna add another tablespoon of sugar. So for 16 ounces, I think three should be enough. It was a little sweet, but not sweet enough. So I'm gonna add one more, and I think that should be plenty. And I have it there whipping. I have a timer for four minutes, and I'll show you guys how it looks when I'm done. So I tried it again now with the three tablespoons of sugar and yeah, it's sweet enough, not overly sweet because again, the cake has a lot of sweetness to it. So I'm gonna leave it with three. Okay, so this is the, the whipping cream. See how it doesn't fall off the spoon. So it's ready. And I'm probably gonna transfer the cake over to something else a little bigger because I feel like it's not gonna work the way it is right now or i'm probably just gonna top the top and not the sides i don't know i don't know give me a second to figure it out so i'm dropping the whipped cream on the cake and i decided to just leave it as it was and i'm by no means a professional cake decorator actually i'm pretty bad at it so i'm just gonna try to stick to the um to the shape we have hopefully it still looks like a heart once i'm done with it i am awful at decorating cakes so yeah i left it in the plane because i'm afraid if i change if i put it somewhere else the whole milk is going to come out so oh guys anyways i'm gonna try to do it and show you guys the finished product hopefully it doesn't look too awful So, so far this is what it looks like. I'm just dropping whipped cream in and trying to give it a shape. I'm gonna try to put some by the sides, but it's kind of hard because I don't really have enough space, but I'm gonna try. Okay, so this is how it looks after I put whipped cream all over the top. 
and you can see some of the milk starting to drip onto the plate that's why i kind of left it like this the sides were impossible to do if i didn't have enough space but if you guys oh if you guys um have a bigger plate or like either one of those cake um bases or whatever then you guys will probably be able to um do the the sides with no problem which was what i wanted to do so I'm just trying to make it smooth, as pretty as possible. Again, I'm awful cake decorating. I'm sure some of you will make it look way nicer than I, I did. But at least I gave you the basics, basics of um, getting it done. These are my strawberries. I got them at Walmart. I'm gonna rinse them. I'm gonna rinse them, slice them, and place them on the cake. All right, so I got the prettiest from the bunch. I have rinsed my strawberries. So what I'm doing is just cutting out the green part, which you can totally leave for, so it could look pretty. And I'm cutting them down the middle, and I'm gonna cut them once again. So down the middle twice. And I'm gonna do that with the rest of the strawberries. Okay, so let me put it on the cake and see what it looks like. Okay, so I, so this is the finished product. You can decorate your cake as you wish. This is what I decided to do with it, just to give the heart um, its shape back. And with any leftover cream and strawberries, you can just give that to the kids or have it a snack, share with your husband, whatever you guys want. So I hope you enjoyed the video. A lot of mishaps and whatnot, but we got it done. I think it looks okay for my first time. I hope it tastes delicious. And I'll see you guys next time.